my first animal, just walking along, looking for something. I was like, you know what? I need to find a snake. I need to find a snake. And sure, I've been saying that most of the time, but I actually found one. <laughs> Don't. You cannot put that on. Yeah. If you if you put that on, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not joking. Oh, these flies. No joke. You got him. Oh, fucking zant. Yo, sorry. It's amazing these guys aren't more popular. Like with the ladies? Well, with the flies. Aloha, folks. Yes, another day in the outback. It's beautiful. And there are still uh, countless flies just flying all over my face. And I'm I'm gonna try to do my best to accept it. I'm hoping today to find at least a couple new snake species that we haven't seen yet. And if we can find that thorny devil today, I think today's the day to find the thorny devil. Holy crap, dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> you know what, when I, when I find that I'm having trouble accepting something, like flies going all over my face, I just need to harness my mind and focus on the power of my mind and the ability to just ignore things that are annoying me. And I think some tabletop yoga is in order. Brian can do this, I can do this. Oh, gee, oh. Crap, 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 crap. You know what? It didn't make it less annoying. In fact, I think I inhaled two or three flies just in that little short session. <coughs> because number three. Ah. Well. Yes. Life is life. What are you gonna do? So we've moved to where it is safe inside of the vehicle. Dave is going to go brave the wilderness and rid, our, out the trash. rid ourselves of refuse. Ewan, Ewan is going to be helping us with making sure we don't starve to death. Bacon, eggs, bacon, eggs. All the necessities of life. Got to do the washing first. Uh, he's got to do the washing first. I thought that was already done. No, no. They look pretty clean for dirty plates. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Is it too much to ask, flies? God, they were on me like in a heartbeat. All right, so we're gonna do everything in the van today, except for when we go out to find snakes because you know I wish that I had but first we're gonna put together breakfast tables. This is a crucial point of uh, the process here. Dave, Dave you got camper. this covered? I got this all covered. You got it covered? All right, let's get right, this so together. I got the pole here. Let's just, and then, so I got the, I guess this is the table. That's not part of it. That's not part of it? Be somebody. <laughs> Don't you cannot put that on. Yeah. If you if you put that on, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not joking. Uh, you done that to yourself. <laughs> I am not joking. All right, guys. So you know now. Oh, you can't find me. You don't know what's happened to me, and Brian's gone missing. You know the first man to go question. On you, Brian. He's reptile adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. It's beautiful. It's like the morning sunrise. <laughs> and now you folks have witnessed the moment when Dave decided he will never invite me anywhere ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Please have some coffee. Awesome, I'll have some coffee. Thanks. Right, that I now spot on. I, seriously, I now have to block those words from YouTube <laughs> because me? people were commenting because of that. I'm not joking. <laughs> Do not <laughs> that in your vlog. <laughs> so you're, you're so you're actually going to kill me? Is that what it, what, what it was? Death. <laughs> Now we're here we go. Now, now we're you're recording. Okay, now I'm recording. Dave, you're as bad as me, dude. <laughs> I just am not familiar with your camera. Well, I just want to focus on this vehicle coming at us. Just want to make sure we don't hit it. Okay, that's good. Success. A success. First vehicle we've come across, I didn't hit it. So I got in trouble, obviously. Dave got pretty pissed off because I'm, you know, being my normal self, of course. But they said that I'm not allowed to touch anything else in the vehicle, so I've got to keep my hands on the steering wheel at all times which means I, I need to drive on the wrong side of the road, which I haven't done in over a decade. And they're trusting me with their lives now. So it doesn't seem, maybe, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that I get in trouble and that I have to be the one that's in charge of people's lives. But I guess uh, this is what it's all about, right? Love you like a brother, man. But yeah, keep those uh, hands on that steering wheel there. So we're headed into that gap right there. It's not the first time in my life I've headed into a gap. Probably won't be the last. I'm pretty excited about it because uh, every time I usually enter a gap, it's a pretty freaking good time, man. I gotta say, How, you guys have uh, previous experience in the gap? Oh yeah, I love the gap. I love the gap. I'm not talking about where you go shopping for clothes. I mean, look at, oh. Well. Oh, okay, we had a misunderstanding there. Oh, so that gap's a good one. This is potentially what we were hoping to see here alive. Obviously this one is not with us anymore, but it's still kind of cool to see what could have been possible to find at this spot. There are kind of a lot of people swimming in the hole and probably got scared off all the live ones, but this one's probably been dead for, oh, I'm not good at guessing these type of things, but I think this was a Parenti monitor of some kind. And uh, look at those claws. Man, that really, would have been really cool to see this guy alive, but I'll take what I can get. I wish I was a Jesse Gap. Where can I find a gap like that? So I know I mentioned when we were up in Darwin that it really felt like uh, Hawaii to me. And I'd say down here in Alice Springs area, it's very uh, similar to Arizona. We're like, we're in a wash right now which feels exactly like a wash I've walked down in Arizona. Minus these loud, loud cicadas that are happening. You don't hear that in Arizona, at least I didn't when I was there. Um, yeah, it's nice. I'm, I'm stoked, dude. This has been a great trip so far. Hopefully we find some more animals for you guys before this day's up. Even if we're not finding things every single spot that we're at, just to be in these spaces in nature, it's just, it feels amazing. I love these gaps. <laughs> So you do intend to have uh, reptiles on your reptile adventure soon, yes? If only the name of my channel was Reptile Adventures. <laughs> Check out this tree though, guys. The ghost gum tree. Sick. We'll find you some animals soon, I promise. <laughs> I feel like of all the places to potentially find bread lie out here, this was gonna be it. Unfortunately, I haven't found one yet. And maybe not going to, just those, I don't know. But I had to get higher than anybody else on the trip. That, that was kind of a given. I think since I destroyed my drone before I made it out here, this view will make up for that. So, this is a special moment for me because 
Troy and Ewan have been doing most of the uh, revealing and finding of the herps since I've been, you know, holding the camera and just doing the usual Cusco stuff. They've been uh, responsible for finding most of the animals. But I found my first animal just walking along, looking for something. I was like, you know what? I need to find a snake. I need to find a snake. And sure, I've been saying that most of the time. But I actually found one. And it was crawling right by my feet. And I, I didn't know what kind it was at first, so I didn't touch it. But uh, it... It's a king brown snake, and I'm extremely excited about it because, first of all, it's supposed to be one of the top 10 venomous species on the planet, uh, which uh, Ewan isn't too sure about. He said maybe if you got bit by it and you didn't run around like an idiot, you can maybe just roll it out. And <laughs> I'm not going to test that theory out, but we are going to check out the snake. Duh. That is beautiful. This shot is phenomenal. Mm hmm. So I learned a little something about that snake today. It's not just a brown snake or a king brown, so it's, it's in the black snake family. I wasn't aware of that, learned that today. How was the footage of that snake? Dude, that made swallowing all these flies worth every single fly I swallowed today. It was 100% worth it for that snake. I'm stoked that I actually got to find one and not just be like filming stuff that other people found. And I can actually say that I actually found a snake here in Australia. It was a king brown and dude, Dude, stoke, stoke, stoke. Flies in my eyes, flies on my thighs. Flies is really no surprise. The <laughs> There's nothing much to be said other than this monitor is cool. He's a sand monitor. First one I've ever seen. First monitor I've held in Australia and I'm beside myself. I just listened to Dave give all kinds of information on this guy like 17 times in a row. That's how I work. <laughs> 17 takes or so. That's how but, I roll. But he, he definitely put out some good information there. So to, just a reminder to go down and check out Dave's channel. And, uh, dude, I'm, I'm beside myself. Do you see how many flies are in my face right now? This, oh, man, this, this, is, is, this is ludicrous. I've yeah. never seen flies this bad down here before. It's, uh, it's not taken away from the awesomeness of the monitor, but it is a little distracting. It certainly is. <laughs> oh, man. All this right. guy's super chill though. Yeah, he's, he is super chill. I'm going to let him uh, roll on and do his thing. Oh, later. <laughs> Dave's a nut. That was awesome. Uh, I think we're going to shut it down. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's try and find one more animal for you guys before we get out of here. We're going to go up to that cave right there. A couple of bats just blew right past me and hit my back on the way out. That was pretty freaking cool. So that's a vampire bat, eh? All right. Wow. That is just cool. To me, it's cool. That's their fingers and their wings. Right. right. Well, see you, little buddy. Oh, look at that. Stuck you know the, the nice thing about being inside that cave is there were no flies on our faces for whatever reason. You step right outside the cave and boom, it's fly time again. I don't... <laughs> wow, I'm going back to the car. I'm going to shut this thing down for today, guys. Thank you for joining us. Ah! <laughs> uh.